I'm now joined with Mr. Anil Katarki, Chief Information and Security Officer of HP Enterprise Services. Anil, welcome. Thank you, Naeem. It's a pleasure to be on the, on the panel. Right. So, Anil, you happen to be a GW alum. So, I'm really curious, and I'm sure our audiences are really curious to learn about your journey to becoming the CISO at uh, HP Enterprise. Could you elaborate a little bit on your career path? A absolutely. So let me see, I started in this business back in uh, the late 90s, Naeem. I mean, that's when I guess the internet was sort of becoming mainstream in America, right? Uh, we were all just slowly getting on to, to the, the net. I mean, America Online was the was big, the thing. big yeah, thing. Yeah, I remember those days. So dial, that's when dial-up modems. Correct, right. dial-up modems. I mean, you had companies like Earthlink, but that's when I started in this business. Um, you know, initially the focus was all about learning. How do you get, I mean, like in a package from point A to point B, right? It was all about routing and switching, and so that's where, I mean, like, and my focus was. But then as I got more into it, it's like, fine, as we can move data from point A to point B, how do we now start securing this information? So that's where I mean, like, you know, it sort of my interest started peaking more in, how do we ensure the confidentiality? How do we ensure the integrity of this data, right? So that kind of peaked my, peaked my interest. Um, so I happened to, I mean, like, you know, at that time, join a company called PricewaterhouseCoopers. Uh, so I joined in their technology risk services practice. Uh, and the, the focus was primarily on auditing IT security systems. Uh, and and the, the moment was right. I mean, George Washington University at that time had a program. I mean, you take certain courses for a certificate program in information assurance, which leads to a master's I mean, like, you know, in uh, systems engineering or engineering management. I've always wanted to pursue a career, I mean, uh, sorry, a, a, a master's program in, in business. So I did end up taking a lot of my core courses at GW, I mean, which were focused on information assurance. Uh, kind of fit nicely with what I was doing at work, I mean, so the, the topics were just really relevant uh, at, at that point. Uh, continued, but at the end of the day, Naeem, I mean, I think what really helped me was combining the, the security background and the business aspect, right? Security has to be a business enabler. I mean, unless you can bridge the two, uh, you know, and, and then, I mean, like, and you start getting more into the strategy, the, like, you know, how do you sort of visualize what's the, what's the next step here? Uh, so I think I kind of tried to focus my career along that path. So while I had the technical background, I mean, like, and I had the formal education, information assurance, uh, bridging that with the business aspect. What is the business trying to do? Where is the business trying to go? I mean, like, you know, what is the risk appetite? Uh, so I think George, the, the training at George Washington, whether it's the information assurance program, whether it is the, the school of, I, mean, I, I actually graduated with my, my master's was in uh, engineering and technology management. So being able to bridge uh, the, the cybersecurity background with the, the business background, I think really helped me sort of rise through the ranks uh, and start looking at, I mean, like, I'm at this from a more strategic standpoint, I mean, like, I'm standing up programs and working with the businesses to, to get them to achieve what they want, but achieve it in a more secure manner. Right. So